Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Were the peoples of every nation to observe that which hath been mentioned, the matter would be made simple unto them, and such words and allusions would not withhold them from the ocean of the names and attributes of God. And had the people known this truth, they would not have denied God's favors, nor would they have risen against, contended with, and rejected his prophets. Please watch on to find out more. Hello, considerate viewers. I am Isla from Indiana, USA. The hospitable American people thank you as you continue to share peace and love with the world. May God bless you. Baha'u'llah was the enlightened prophet and founder of the Baha'i Faith. He and his teachings are believed to be prophesied in Buddhism, Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, and other religions. Baha'u'llah was born in 1817 in Tehran, Persia, in present-day Iran. The word Baha means glory or splendor. The Baha'i faith rests on three core principles, unity of God, unity of religion, and unity of humankind. Approximately 7 million people today in many countries adhere to the Baha'i faith, their scriptures are translated into 800 languages, and there are houses of worship in every corner of the world. Baha'i principles envision an ideal society. These principles are gender equality, elimination of all forms of prejudice, whether religious, racial, class, or national, harmony of religion and science, universal opportunity of education for all, a universal auxiliary language which all humanity can use to cooperate quickly with one another a judicious world government, and the elimination of extremes of wealth and poverty. The Baha'i followers see a noble society as a real goal to be pursued in everyday life. Today we present the wisdom of Baha'u'llah with an excerpt from the holy book Gems of Divine Mysteries. Gems of Divine Mysteries The essence of the divine mysteries in the journeys of ascent set forth for those who long to draw nigh unto God, the Almighty, the ever-forgiving, blessed be the righteous that drink from these crystal streams. He is the exalted, the Most High. Veiled as they remain within their own selves, the generality of the people have failed to perceive the sweet accents of holiness, inhale the fragrance of mercy, or seek guidance as bidden by God from those who are the custodians of the scriptures. He proclaims in his word verily is the truth. Ask ye therefore of them that have the custody of the scriptures, if ye know it not. Nay, rather they have turned aside from them and followed instead the samiri of their own idol fancies. Thus have they strayed far from the mercy of their Lord and failed to attain unto his beauty in the day of his presence. For no sooner had he come unto them with a sign and a testimony from God than the same people who had eagerly awaited the day of his revelation, who had called upon him in the daytime and in the night season, who had implored him to gather them together in his presence, and to grant that they may lay down their lives in his path, be led aright by his guidance and illumined by his light. This very people condemned and reviled him and inflicted upon him such cruelties as transcend both my capacity to tell and thine ability to hear them. My very pen crieth out at this moment, and the ink weeps sore and groans, by God, were thou to hearken with thine inner ear, thou would in truth hear the lamentations of the denizens of heaven, and were thou to remove the veil from before thine eyes, thou would behold the maids of heaven overcome and the holy souls overwhelmed. Alas, alas for that which befell him, who has the manifestation of the self of God, and for that which he and his loved ones were made to suffer. 
the people inflicted upon them what no soul hath ever inflicted upon another. Alas, alas, that immortal being sat upon the darksome dust, the Holy Spirit lamented in the retreats of glory, the pillars of the throne crumbled in the exalted dominion, the joy of the world was changed into sorrow in the crimson land, and the voice of the nightingale was silence in the golden realm. Woe betide them for what their hands have wrought and for what they have committed. Listen then to that which the bird of heaven uttered in the sweetest and most wondrous accents and in the most perfect and exalted melodies concerning them, an utterance that shall fill them with remorse from now unto the day when mankind shall stand before the land of the worlds. Although they had before prayed for victory over those who believed not, yet when there came unto them he of whom they had knowledge, they disbelieved in him. Such indeed are their condition and attainments in their vain and empty life. Before long shall they be cast into the fire of affliction and find none to help or succor them. O thou who are mentioned in the outspread roll, and who amid the gloomy darkness that now prevails, hast been illumined by the splendors of the sacred mount in the Sinai of divine revelation. Cleanse thy heart from every blasphemous whispering and evil illusion thou hast heard in the past. That thou may inhale the sweet savors of eternity from the Joseph of faithfulness, gain admittance into the celestial Egypt, and perceive the fragrances of enlightenment from this resplendent and luminous tablet, a tablet wherein the pen hath inscribed the ancient mysteries of the names of his Lord, the exalted, the most high. Perchance thou may be recorded in the holy tablets among them that are well assured. O thou who art standing before my throne, and yet remain unaware thereof! Know thou that whoso seeks to scale the summits of the divine mysteries must strive to the utmost of his power and capacity for his faith, that the pathway of guidance may be made clear unto him. And should he encounter one who lays claim to a cause from God, and who holds from his Lord a testimony beyond the power of men to produce, he must follow him in all that he pleases to proclaim, command and ordain, even were he to decree the sea to be land, or to pronounce earth to be heaven, or that the former lies above the latter or below it, or to ordain any change or transformation, for he verily is aware of the celestial mysteries, the unseen subtleties and the ordinances of God. Were the peoples of every nation to observe that which hath been mentioned, the matter would be made simple unto them, and such words and allusions would not withhold them from the ocean of the names and attributes of God. And had the people known this truth, they would not have denied God's favors, nor would they have risen against, contended with, and rejected His prophets. Similar passages are also to be found in the Quran, should the matter be carefully examined. Know moreover that it is through such words that God proves His servants and sifts them, separating the detached from the worldly, the pious from the depraved, the doer of good from the worker of iniquity, and so forth. Thus hath the dove of holiness proclaimed. Do men think when they say we believe they shall be let alone and not be put to proof? It behooves him who is a wayfarer in the path of God and a wanderer in his way to detach himself from all who are in the heavens and on the earth. He must renounce all save God, that perchance the portals of mercy may be unlocked before his face and the breezes of providence may waft over him. And when he hath inscribed upon his soul that which we have granted unto him of the quintessence of inner meaning and explanation, he will fathom all the secrets of these illusions. And God shall bestow upon his heart a divine tranquility and cause him to be of them that are at peace with themselves. In like manner wilt thou comprehend the meaning of all the ambiguous verses that have been sent down concerning the question thou and ask of this servant, who abides upon the sea of abasement, who walks upon the earth as an exile with none to befriend, comfort, aid, or assist him, who hath placed his whole trust in God, and who proclaims at all times verily we are gods, and to him shall we return. For more information, please visit www.baha'i.org.
Thank you, enthusiastic viewers, for joining us on today's program, The Baha'i Faith's Gems of Divine Mysteries, paragraphs 25 through 33 on words of wisdom. Coming up next is Six Paramita Sutra, The Benevolent Holds No Hatred, part one of six, right after noteworthy news. May the divine endow your life with abundant joy and peace. Our programs are for many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW. Nos programmes offrent plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com baroblique schedule et suprememastertv.com baroblique WOW. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule et suprememastertv.com barra inclinada WOW. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Accesse suprememastertv.com barra schedule et suprememastertv.com barra WOW. हमारे कार्यक्रम पेश किए जाते हैं कई भाषाओं में कृपया देखें suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule और suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW हमारे जेमो तीकों दो जोंग यूएन चिन कान suprememastertv.com शेशें schedule हो suprememastertv.com शेशें WOW रंचांगन कमी मनावल कंबाया बहासा सिला कुंजोंगी suprememastertv.com slash गहरा पांच केजू दान suprememastertv.com slash गहरा पांच WOW परामिजुना मुतवाफिरा बिल आदि दिमिनल لغات يوجد زيارة suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule و suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW Наши программы предлагают много языков. Пожалуйста, посмотрите suprememastertv.com коса черта schedule и suprememastertv.com коса черта WOW Бангами ва тагенго хосо дес. Хосо йоте ва suprememastertv.com slash schedule そして slash WOW 